So I'm going to show you a combo from the front headlock position uh, using an anaconda choke and then showing you a what's typically called a Schultz headlock as always my lovely assistant Mr. Adam Wilson let's get into it. Okay, so let's take a look at this we'll, we'll use some different wrestling stuff to set this up so let's say we get into a front headlock position we sprawled on the person whatever and we're in position here and we're going to get ready to go for this um this anaconda choke to start with. First off front headlock basics I'm putting the front of my shoulder right here in the base of the neck I, I usually start with a chin strap grip where I'm grabbing just the, the mandible to control his head and then my hand's starting here in the beginning. You could be up on your toes for extra pressure. Right now I'm just down on my knee just to give him a little bit of uh, relief from having to hold my, my big ass for the whole video. Now from here, I'm taking my hand on the outside and I'm going to do a Judy chop. Boom. Not a, not, a, not a karate chop. Actually, I don't know which one was. Which one was the, the West Virginia Ninja? Was this the Judy chop or the Ninja chop? I don't remember. Now, the reason why I make such a fuss about this is because you have to do this with the hand up, okay? We're not going to go in like this or grab. So palm up, you're uh, chopping it down, and then I'm going to get my hands together. Now, for the anaconda choke, we're going to first pull that arm up to get rid of this post here, and then we're going to do a, a gator roll. So from here, I'm going to tuck my head through, shoot underneath, and I've shown this move before, but I'm giving you guys a refresher. You want a full, like in-depth thing you can check the links down below and i put it in there but once we get here we're pinched in now this hand position was really important because i have that that chop the knife hand against the arm here that's important because if it was this way i would have to adjust my hands to change it and finish from here though i pinch get tight now i can finish the anaconda choke and again when you guys do the anaconda choke it's not just your arms that are squeezing i'm crunching in if i can throw my leg over top that's great but if not it's my whole body crunching in again just like any other submission it's whole body movement i'm squeezing and constrict constricting right around his neck so that's one that's the first one here's the second one this is called typically called a schultz headlock shout out to uh derek he was visiting and he actually showed it to me and i was like huh and so i started playing around with it i like it and i've been able to hit it a couple times in the gym already so i'm showing it to you guys it's kind of a fun addition and what's cool about both of these setups is you don't have to be long armed like the traditional anaconda choke where you have to go like bicep, I don't really have the longest arms in the world, so it's really hard for me to set that one up. But if I do the gator roll, it's fine. This one's going to work. The Schultz headlock's going to work right off the same grip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel that grip off, and instead of trying to gator roll, I'm going to stick my head into the pocket here. Now, if, let's just roll with me for, like this for a second. Notice what's going on. My head's right here and I'm pushing against his neck. Just like any other arm triangle, I'm pushing his shoulder and his arm into the carotid. And on this side, I'm pulling in and I'm squeezing just like that. So that's gonna be the position that we're basically in, okay? I stick my head down and I'm gonna post on my forehead. From here, I'm gonna begin to walk and walk and walk to the side and squeeze. And it's right there, we're pulling in. Now the person can definitely begin to walk with you but I found that a lot of times if they start to walk with you, sometimes they start to run out of air doing so. And if nothing else, it makes it really easy to get around to the back. So even if I get here and the guy's like walking with me, walk with me, I get around to the back and I'll be good. And he's going to be gasping because he's like, oh my God, almost had it, right? So one more time on this. So we go in, we're in a front headlock position. First one, anaconda, shoot through, roll, finish. If we're not feeling it, pinch, shoot the head down, walk to the side, and again, squeezing everything in. So, just a fun combo to throw into. So, right now we're working on front headlock stuff in the gym, and uh, that was one sequence that we worked on last night. And to share it with you guys, I thought it was cool. I like that Schultz headlock. Um, little background, and one of the Schultz brothers used to use it in wrestling. He would do it, get the guys to where they were feeling kind of woozy, and as they were starting to go out, he would roll them over and pin them. So um, I, I, don't know, I don't know if they were outlawed or I'm sure they probably did. Um, but nonetheless, that's something you can throw into the mix with your front headlock game in jiu-jitsu. Give it a try. And uh, I'm finished. Adam? Adam.